Tiny King, Tiny King. Mm hmm? Do you know any great wonders in the world? Guess it. I know, the Great Pyramid. It seems that you have to learn something new in China. Ouch! Wow, what a wonderful city. 5,300 years ago, Liangzhu Kingdom rose up in China as one of the earliest civilizations in human history. After years of development, Liangzhu city gradually became the center of the civilization's power and belief. The ancient city was as old as the Egyptian pyramids. In the center of the city was a grand palace built on a 16-meter high foundation and surrounded by two layers of walls. A complex irrigation system, including two layers of dams, functioned for flood control and irrigation, while providing convenient transportation for local residents. With a network of crisscrossing canals, Liangzhu looked like a city floating on the water, just like Venice, where people traveled by boats. So what about their food and clothing? 200,000 kilograms of rice were excavated from the ruins of a warehouse. If an adult eats about half a kilogram of rice a day, it is estimated that the unearthed rice remains could feed 5,000 people for one or two months. All the above proved the relatively fundamental national will and administrative ability of the ancient kingdom. Unearthed relics from an ancient Liangzhu royal mausoleum were the king's jade headwear decorated with feather, axes, scepters, and ritual utensils, as well as the queen's jade necklaces, bracelets, and medallions. The exquisite animal decorations on the jade wares indicate that a strong shared belief already emerged in Liangzhu civilization. All these findings show that Liangzhu civilization already had distinct national characteristics, such as social differentiation and a unified belief system. It is fair to say that Liangzhu is one of the oldest kingdoms in China. In 2019, the archaeological ruins of Liangzhu city joined the World Heritage List.